Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 88. Today, we have a special treat. In this video, I will be repairing an antique music box from the late 1800s. I think mid to late 1890s. It plays six songs. Here's the song list. This glass panel lifts up. We'll do a little work on this. It needs some lubricant on the mechanism. I'm not sure how well this is showing up, but the whole mechanism is a little bit loose in the box. There is some cracked wood. Anyway, to start, I'm going to pull out these panels on either side of the mechanism. They just slide out. This one has the controls for stop and start and for changing songs. Now we have full access to everything. I was also able to find a key for it. Maybe we'll talk about that later. There are three screws that hold the mechanism in place. They're loose because the wood is cracked. I can pretty much just take these screws out with my fingers. This one seems to be the only one that's tight. I'm going to pause for a second. Alright, I got it loose. Now, the whole mechanism should lift right out. Before I do any work on this, let's look at the box and see what needs to be fixed. Alright, now, oops, there is a ribbon that is supposed to go under this tack for lifting the glass panel. We'll get to that later. Now we can see this block here has a nice crack in it and that's why those screws were loose. I have to glue this back together somehow. Once it's glued that should take care of everything on this side of the box. So I got this block of wood out, you can see it's broken there. I'm just going to glue it back together, put it in a clamp, then I'll glue it back in. Once it's glued back together, I'm going to put it back in backwards and drill a couple of new holes. That should take care of it. I'll go glue this up and then we'll work on the mechanism. I already adjusted the indicator here. It was way off. To adjust it, there's a little screw down here. You loosen that. Then just slide the indicator one way or the other. There is a little bit of squeaking in the mechanism, so it needs to be lubricated. Don't know if it's been done. It is over 100 years old, so Let's oil it up. Liberty Lubricants clock oil, synthetic oil. So I'm just going to go in and lubricate all the gears. I'm going to adjust the camera angle and zoom in. So I'll just go in and put some oil here. And try to get down by the governor.
I want a lot of oil on these gears. This thing's over a hundred years old. Don't know when it was last oiled. Now at the other end, we'll lubricate the bushings. And the gears. I'm going to wind it up a little bit and let's see if we can see the mechanism that actually makes it switch. This little thing here under my finger is what makes it switch songs. We'll see it come around. So I'll start it again and it shifted the drum over to play the next song. It has moved to song two. I'm going to continue to oil this off camera and then we'll see if we can see it in action. I have just about everything oiled except for the governor. Let's take a little closer look here. Right there at the top is a bunch of dust. And it's probably the same way at the bottom of that. So I'm going to take the governor off. I have to let this run and wind itself down. This screw here at the top just holds the jewel in place. It's the screws on the front to get the governor out. It's wound down. I'm going to remove the screw on the front. I can barely get enough torque from this screwdriver. Let's carefully wiggle it out. Looks like it just slides right out. Now I can just lift the governor out. Here's a fuzz I was pointing out earlier. Clean that off. The bottom looks pretty good. I'll put a drop of oil on each end of this and put it back in. Everything's lubricated and back together, so let's take a closer look at the mechanism. Song counter seems to be right. Now let's look underneath. There are some weights on the bottom of the tines there. So this is ready to go back in, but I'm still waiting on the glue to dry. Once everything is glued back in, I can drill the new holes and we'll set the mechanism back in. All right, I have this block glued back together. I pulled out both pieces of quarter round trim and I'm gonna glue this in backwards so I have fresh material for holes to drill. To glue it in, I'm just going to use some tight bond wood glue. I'll just spread a bunch of glue on here. Set this in place. and then I'll put a clamp on it. And once that's cured, I'll put these quarter round pieces back in. The one for the other side is right here. Once all that's set, then I'll have to drill two new holes. I'll get this all done off camera and then I'll be right back. 
While I'm waiting on the glue to set, we'll make our hole ribbon to open the glass lid. I've got a little piece of fabric ribbon here for wrapping presents. It's a little wider than I wanted, so I cut it in half. So now I'll just make a little loop out of it. I should be able to pull this tack right out. I should probably push the tack through the ribbon first. And then push this back into the lid. Now I have a little pull handle. I can't close it right now because of the clamp. So now I'm just waiting on the glue. And once that is set, then I can go ahead and put the quarter rounds back in. I'll do all that off camera. And then we'll drill the new holes and put the mechanism back in. All right, I just put the two quarter rounds back in. I'm waiting on the glue to set. But we can look at how the ribbon works as a handle for the glass lid. It kind of folds itself out of the way, and when I close the main lid, it doesn't get in the way. When I come back, we'll set the mechanism in and drill our holes. I've set the mechanism in and I've made the marks. I'm going to pull this back out and drill my holes. Before that, I want to see how deep it goes on this side. It goes to about here. So that's where I need to stop on the other side. There's one. And the other. I'm going to dump the sawdust out. Now I'll set the mechanism back in. Now I'll go ahead and put the screws in off camera. All right, the mechanism is all tightened down. Now I have to put these two little wood panels back in. Got to make sure my levers are in the right position. Slide it in its slot. And the one on the other side. Close the glass. And there we go. And I can even lock it. Of course, I have to turn it the right way. Now it's locked, and now it's unlocked. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.